Well, Heejin, how bad is the situation right now? Sure. Uh, so among the 39 dead people, 13 were found in, in a city called Oseong, which is in North, North Chungcheong province. And we saw about 15 vehicles, including a bus, were trapped in an underground pass. And when I saw the video clips by local residents, uh, they, they are showing that the, uh, the tunnel was quickly flooded after a nearby river overflowed. And rescuers are still working on finding bodies. So that means the casualties can rise uh, as the officials are draining in the water, in the tunnel, and they're looking for more bodies. And, and they are also using some equipment to pulling out vehicles submerged in the past. What's been the government's reaction so far? Uh, well, South Korean Prime Minister Han Dok Su convened a meeting Sunday. Uh, he organized uh, some rescue activities uh, because we didn't have a President Yoon Sung Yeol um, on Friday and Saturday because Yoon just uh, returned to the country earlier this morning uh, after his visit to NATO summit. So um, the point is the Korean weather agency officials already issued a lot of warnings before the flooding uh, because in recent years, the South Korea has different kinds of summer months and seasons, which is we are having a pretty strong rains for a short period of time like Thailand or any other Southeast Asian country. So that means that some analysts saying that it's probably because of the global warming um, in general. But, uh, <laughs> well, look, in Korea, People are really shocked by the flood in the, in the tunnel in Otong City. So they are blaming the lack of infrastructure, infrastructure or lack of policemen or authorities on Friday to control the traffic.